Hello and welcome to another Unsourceful Unboxing. As always, my name is Elvis and I'm your host. And we're going to be looking at this really special um, figure in here. It's partly inspired by a friend of mine on Twitter's multi-part uh, Twitter thread about basically this entire property and the creator and all the insane behind the scenes uh, scandals and controversies that went on uh, during the creation of it. And I just felt like I had to get some sort of physical manifestation of those threats. I'm linking the threads below. Um, my friend's uh, Twitter handle is at Comrade Bolsky. I'm going to link their account below as well. They're really great. They have such informative and entertaining like ways of like describing the details and history behind a lot of comic stuff that I think is really well worth checking out. So please give them a like, give them a follow, um, give them all the traction they can get. They really deserve it. So let's just uh, open this thing up. Aha! All right. Now, as you can see, it is a McFarlane Toys Die Hard Young Blood action figure. Now, according to my friend Swinner Threads, there was only I think like one real wave of Young Blood action figures done by McFarlane Toys, uh, basically right before Liefeld totally disgraced himself um, and had to be ousted from the company. Uh, there were a couple of young blood fingers that were put into previous waves, like Chapel and um, Bad Rock, uh, but the actual like proper young blood action figure series only had a couple of figures, including Die Hard. Now I had to pick Die Hard in particular, not only because my friend Twitter Threat started with the Die Hard, but because Die Hard is without a doubt the absolute coolest young blood member. I mean, Shaft has this old Green Arrow thing going on, but Die Hard has this amazing. I think amazing costume and outfit and I think he's probably like one of the most interestingly written characters in Youngblood. I think that pretty much everyone zeroes on him to give him the most dynamic um, status quos and personality changes whenever like another writer comes on to the property and you know what so it seemed like the best bet to try and get it. Um, so let's look at behind the box here and yeah you can see basically the rest of the figures you see Shaft, Troll, Dutch, Crypt, Sentinel with his um, rocket propeller missile. Oh, that's hilarious and in yeah in previous um, waves you can see the Bad Rock right there and the Chapel right there. So I guess if you got these two along with this line, you might have had most of the Youngblood team. Although I don't see a Vogue, which is really lame. Like, did it not make a Vogue figure? That is horrendous. Anyway, uh, let's get this thing properly out of its package and uh, start talking about it. All right, so we got out of the package pretty nicely. I did want to mention one thing. It seems that there are some action gimmick instructions right at the bottom. That is not a really user-friendly place to put it. How am I going to see this? I would have totally missed it if I hadn't seen it, you know, opening it up. Oh, and look at all this dry glue. It looks like blood. That's horrifying, but also pretty radical. I mean, it feels in keeping with something called young blood, am I right? Anyway, so now we have a full look at the Die Hard figure and all its accessories. We have this whole pincer thing. We have a disc of some sort. Let's get the rest of the accessories out before we get the figure itself out. Oh, this is taped in. That is the bane of my existence. We have this really cool knife going on. A small dagger. And some sort of miniature prod. And finally, the figure itself, which has very minor articulation. Like, I mean, it has some, but it feels very much in keeping with what you would expect from a mid 90s McFarlane figure. It has one pose it can do, and it gives you only the fewest of options to produce that pose. It is crouching, so you can either have your, your kind of a fists up like he's putting up his dukes or you can have him on the sides where he's like kind of like still I don't know gesturing you into the fight but yeah there's no articulation or bend at the joint here for the legs so he's always going to be in this standard um, Liefeld pose here which you know it's fine I don't mind it but it is pretty disappointing 
that it's always going to be in like this squatting you know, position, which I've, which has always looked like to me, like they're taking a crap. I mean, I think all life of characters in there in this look like they're really constipated or something. But I digress. Uh, let's um, try to get them all kitted out. All right. So according to the instructions on the bottom right there, the knives go in these really cool um, uh, knee sheaves. And they're pretty snug fit. I don't think I'm going to have any trouble actually pulling them out, but it doesn't seem like I'm also going to have any trouble with them. Well, that one at least is going to be kind of a bother. It's still, it's slightly snug here. Yeah, yeah. I guess in this position, it's a lot more uh, stable. Uh, so that's nice. And the sword goes in this one hand. Pretty good fit. Although you can't actually get it to look like he's going to use it. Like, who in the right mind would hold the sword like this? And the same goes for this action missile disc launcher thing. Like, you can't get it to aim. Like, you, like, where is this going? Die Hard looks like a fool. I mean, you can't even bend his arm. It's always going to be, like, lopsided. He would miss whatever he's going to throw at that. Um, and that's pretty ridiculous. Anyway, let's get to the big sort of gimmick here. And that's this action launcher. And it seems... doesn't really say how to you know, actually fire it. So I'm going to have to mine my way through. Is there any kind of button? Oh, there is right at the very tip here. It's nicely hidden. Uh, it doesn't seem like you can really make it out. It looks like, yeah, it's not even that like thick of a button. You know, it's a minor little tap and it flies. Let's try that again. Ooh. One last time. Here. <laughs> That's fun. Um, yeah. I mean, that is really just about it. That's nothing else this can do other than, you know, look ridiculous. Hey, you can recreate that infamous life pose where the guy uh, slams into the person with the groin. Hey, that's fun. I, <laughs> I didn't expect that from a diehard figure. Um, can this actually stand? Like, I know, like, can this actually, it can, it can balance. Well, mostly, I mean, if it was like a flatter surface, it'd be no problem. Like, I am surprised. I thought this would be like a lunk that you wouldn't be able to do anything with. But it, it's, it's, if you got it like on a flatter surface, this would have absolutely no issue. That's great. I mean, I am surprised. I, I, I think that's really awesome. Um, yeah, I did want to check one more thing out because I think, you know, it'd be a missed opportunity if I didn't do this. So just give me one second to, uh, go grab something. So here is my Marvel Legends X-Men movie Deadpool figure doing the iconic, um, Liefeld crouch. I tried this before just on a whim. And now that I have an actual Liefeld, you know, inspired figure to stand right beside it, they're both in a crouch. I just need to get that out in the world. It looks great. And I'm glad I have this uh, just to have like some sort of novelty. It's really ridiculous that these are probably one of the uh, only young blood figures still in circulation. It's really easy to find, at least in domestically in North America. Uh, these young blood figures, I, they've had other weird uh, branding tie ins like bendy figures or like um, that seem to be in real disrepair or video game tie in figures that are even less posable than this diehard. Uh, so yeah, it's fun. It's nice. I think they did a really good job. Will we ever get a real dire figure again? Probably not, especially now that there's this whole kerfuffle with the uh, copyrights to Youngblood right now. But yeah, I'm really glad to have it. It's nice. They look great side by side. And yeah, anyway, that's it for another unboxing. I just want to say thank you so much everyone out there who's still you know watching these. It's real fun to do. I can't wait to do the upcoming Summer of Stargate series where I'm gonna be looking at some really special uh, Stargate tie-in merch. I think it's gonna be really exciting. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. I wanna give another shout out to Comrade Bolsky. Please check their threads out. Please check their account out. They're really great. And yeah, have a great one. Uh, see you again next time and uh, be safe out there.